Welcome to this lesson and it's on how to make why the subject. So it's really a matter of getting rid of all the things around the why so that on the left hand side of the equals you're just left with y equals. So in this case you need to get rid of the 3 and the x in the right order. And a good way of figuring out the right order is to do something like this. What's the first thing that's happened to the y here? Well, the closest number to it is that 3, and that 3 is multiplying the y. So the y is being times by 3. So that's the first thing that's been done. The second thing after you've times y by 3 is you've added x to it. And all you really have to do is undo those two things in the opposite order they were done. So the last thing that was done was adding x. So the opposite of that is minusing x. And the first thing that was done was times by 3, and the opposite of that, or the thing that will undo it, is to divide by 3. So now you've just got to do these two steps to both sides of this equation, and this is how you do it. So you start by writing the left-hand side again, 3y plus x, and the first step here says minus x from both sides. So I'm going to minus x from that side, and minus x from that side as well. And x minus x, those two x's cancel out, they equal 0. And then you're really left with 3y plus 0, which is just equal to 3y. And that's equal to 7 minus x. And the final step says divide both sides by 3. So put this side over 3. And you can put all of that over 3, or each term over 3 like that. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. And 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 3 goes once. 1 times y is y, y divided by 1 is itself y. And so now y is the subject, and I'm just going to rearrange these terms and put this term first. So minus x on 3, and this, then this is plus 7 thirds, and there you have it. Now y is the subject in this equation. In this example here, 2x minus y equals 5. This time what I want to do is swap these two terms around so the y terms front, or at the front, and this minus belongs to that y, so it becomes minus y, and this is positive 2x, so plus 2x equals 5. And now doing those same 1, 2s that I did, the first thing that's happening to this y is it's actually being times by minus 1. So times by minus 1, and then the second thing that's done to it you're adding 2x to it, or it's having 2x added to it. So to undo both of those things, undo the last thing first. So that's undo plus 2x. The opposite of that is minus 2x. And then undo times by minus 1, and the opposite of that is divide by minus 1. And now do both of these steps in this order, first, second, to both sides of this equation. So first thing to do is minus 2x from both sides. So once again, just write the uh, left-hand side of the equation, and then minus 2x, and then do the same on the other side, so 5 minus 2x. These two x's cancel. You're left with minus y equals 5 minus 2x. And the last step here says divide both, all, both sides by minus 1. So once again, I'm going to do each term individually, like that. So this is really minus 1 over minus 1. They cancel out to become 1. And again, all of that equals y. And then 5 divided by 1 is 5. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. So that equals minus 5. And then a minus divided by a minus is a positive. And 2x divided by 1 is 2x. And that's one way of getting rid of a minus in front of a term. The other way of doing it, and I'll show you this quick way, is when you have y equals, sorry, minus y equals 5 minus 2x, if you just reverse all the signs in front of every term. So if something's a minus, make it a plus. If something's a plus, make it a minus. So reversing this sign becomes a positive y, so you can just write y. This is positive 5, so reverse that becomes minus 5. And this is negative 2x, reverse that and you get positive 2x. And that's the same answer I got down here. So that's a, a neat little trick that you can do anytime you want to change the sign in front of the letter that's the subject. 
just reverse all the signs in the equation. It gets a bit tricky when you've got brackets, but there is a way of doing it. So there's a couple of examples on how to make y the subject, and I'll see you in the next lesson.